All right, what is up you guys? Welcome back to another day in the vlog. This room that we're standing in right now is our primary bedroom. And you guys have been kind of seeing some behind the scenes clips. This room has definitely had a transformation. And I wanted to sort of, oh, well, obviously you gotta say hi to Kira first. Say hi. You wanna say hi to the people? Yeah, yeah, yeah say hi to the people. I'm, I'm holding her right now because he is behind the camera filming this clip for me. Before we dive into the primary bedroom sort of makeover, I wanted to do like a little before and after montage because as I mentioned, this room has definitely gotten a transformation. So it, I wouldn't be doing it justice if I didn't do a before and after sort of situation. So I'll run through all of those clips with a nice little edit and then we'll come back here to talk about all of to talk about all of the finer details. So primary bedroom makeover edit in three. As you guys saw from the edit the room has definitely went through a transformation and i love every single thing about it this is definitely my personal sort of favorite project that i've ever done when it comes to sort of interiors design and all that sort of stuff and decorating this room right here would definitely not have been what it currently is without the lovely team over at article the key pieces that made this room what it was and what it currently is is from article i want to walk you guys through some of my favorite elements of the overall sort of primary bedroom makeover and the key pieces starting off with this bed frame right here all of the details are going to be on the screen as well as linked in the description box down below this bed frame is truly my perfect dream bed frame i love the curved back i love the sort of deeper color within this really nice rich heavyweight boucle material that article used to create this bed frame i feel like when you think of boucle you usually think of something that's like off-white or something that's a bit more just like milky creamy that like vanilla color but this i feel like just offers a nice sort of depth it is offered in that standard bouquet boucle color so if that's sort of something you like i personally just wanted the room to feel like and i really just kind of want my overall house or our house to feel like a really big hug and so naturally to achieve that we got to kind of opt for more warmer colors another exciting thing that article sent over was some bedding bits so the gauze sort of like taupe color duvet cover that you're seeing right here i mixed it with just some existing things that i already had but the things from article are the duvet cover as well as the two front king size pillowcases right here these are some throw pillows that i already had i kind of wanted to sort of style everything for you guys so you can really see how the article pieces just naturally flowed into my sort of life and in my design when it came to the primary bedroom but this right here, I am so excited to have this sort of setup. I love this kind of like gauze, again, taupe, like really warm, cozy material and color. I just feel like it plays really nicely against the boucle. And that's exactly what I was going for for this bedroom. I really want this room to be just, you know, all the vibes, all the coziness sort of feels for Kia and I and for Kira and the dogs and stuff. And so I think the combination of the bedding with the bed frame was definitely 10 out of 10. The next and biggest also addition from article was this six drawer dresser right here in this really nice rich oak wood finish. I love this dresser right here because it's so practical. We definitely needed some extra storage. As you guys know, this is sort of what I do for a living and I have a lot of clothes and a lot of accessories and so does Kia. And so having a dresser right here was just not only perfect for our sort of lifestyle, but it just kind of matches the overall room. I feel like it, I would be doing the room a disservice if I put the bed frame in the middle and then just having bed space here and over there on the other side of the bed frame. We kind of shifted the bed frame a little bit to the left so we can offer and have that sort of additional storage right here. Thank you so much to Article for sponsoring today's video and supporting my channel. I will have these pieces linked down below. They have these things, they have so much just 
truly anything and everything that you need for your house, Article definitely has you covered. If you guys are regulars and if you've been following me for a while, I think there is not one sort of room, apartment, house, living situation that I've ever lived in that did not have an article piece in it. And so now that we own this house, I obviously had to work with them again to showcase some of their new stuff. So the dresser, the bedding, and the bed frame will be linked in the description box down below. And they also, again, just have some amazing stuff that I think you guys are really going to like. So check them out. I got Kira again. Um, in addition to the article stuff, I just kind of wanted to share with you guys sort of some next steps and some next plans that we have for the primary bedroom. Oh, you want to tell them? You want to tell them about the projector? I think she does. So the next steps that we have for this bedroom right here, everything is pretty much done. The only sort of big project that we have next is on the top of the wall right here, right in front of our, so this is Kia's closet and then this is my closet right here. We want to put a retractable, like super large sort of projector screen that can electronically come down, that will come down all the way right here. Again, that will go from like this wall to this wall. So we'll need to find something that we can get to sort of install that. And then we're just gonna get a projector that's just like on the ceiling and then it'll obviously project whatever we're watching like Netflix or Hulu or whatever. So that's pretty much it. You guys saw the accent chair and the kind of sort of stool that I had in the corner. That was sort of like my work corner that I created. Um, and just kind of, you know, when I like don't, when I wanna work but I don't wanna go downstairs on like the dining table or whatever, I wanna be a little bit more cozy. So there is this empty space right here next to my closet above my work chair right here at this wall. And I feel like I've been kind of going back and forth. I feel like I want to do some more like personal frames of like photos of Kia and I, Kira and the dogs. But then I'm also like, I feel like this could be a really great area for maybe like an elevated inspo board with just some inspo photos and photos of us. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below what I should do in this area right here because I'm really conflicted. Recording. I'm recording. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's the new primary bedroom. Again, love how everything turned out. The lime wash was such a journey, but I think it turned out great. So again, let me know what you guys think of just the overall room in the comments down below. And then let me know what you think about what I should do in that corner over there because I'm kind of conflicted. I definitely want to add some more personal touches. All of the furniture is obviously really nice, but I think having some... You want some pictures over there? You want some pictures over there? You do? Yeah, let me know what you guys think. And then also real quick before you go, just since it have her, Kira loves to do this thing. <laughs> she she thinks she's a cheerleader. You wanna show them your moves? You wanna show them? Okay, ready? Okay, ready? Show them. You wanna make it straight? Make it straight. Yeah. Again? Again? Make it straight. Yeah. Ready? Again? See, you see how she kind of just makes her back straight? She just goes into it. Her legs are really stiff too. Make it straight. Yeah, good job. Sorry to the vlog, bubbies. You know people ask about you like all the time. Me too. Yeah, like where you are. I think they think that. I'm here. Yeah, she's been here. I'm here. I've been here just being a great mom. I was gonna say just taking care of Kira and figuring out my work situation mm -hmm. and whatnot. So yeah. Yeah. Honestly, being a mom though is like a full time job. So. Oh, hundred percent. Hundred percent. All the dads, all the parents out there that are doing both, like hard to work and take care of the baby. It's worth it, of course, yeah. but it's a lot. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, like I said, I just wanted you to check in because they keep asking where you are. Uh, I'm here, about to eat. I'm hungry. <laughs> yeah. What did you order? Um, we both ordered this. No, well, so this place has a ton of different katsus and katsu options. We both got a curry, but for the I meat... I got this one. Yeah, he got chicken, and then I got the menchi, which is like minced pork with herbs and onions.
haircut this is. This is sort of the vibe that my hair has been on lately. I'm currently growing it out, but the length is definitely getting there. I'm kind of going for just more of a more fuller, obviously pushed back. You can kind of see we're sort of growing out the meat on the side. So it has a nice sort of body just to like sit on. Um, but I would just kind of wanted to wrap up the vlog with just more of a chatty sort of proper life update. I feel like I love the vlogs, especially this portion of the vlogs, because I feel like throughout the regular sort of video as it's going on, I'm not necessarily like checking in, sharing just like my actual life. I'm just kind of showing you sort of just everyday sort of activities and stuff. So the end of the vlog is where I feel like, you know, we get to really connect and just kind of, I get to sort of like update you guys on what sort of has been going on. First thing, it's pretty exciting. I am getting ready to go on a bachelor trip for one of my homies. He is getting married in June, I believe. And we're going to, as of right now, things are subject to change because the plans are forever evolving. Um, but we are currently planning on going to the Dominican Republic. It's for my homie Nils. For the real ones who watch like the old vlogs, you would have like seen him before. We've been homies for like years on years on years now. So I'm really excited to go on a trip and like celebrate him it's with like him and his friends and stuff so it'll be nice i don't think i want to be vlogging while i'm in the dominican republic i think i'll just kind of take like some clips here and there some like moments and stuff to share um but in terms of like properly vlogging and stuff that's gonna be a no because i'm gonna be just like enjoying my time and stuff so you guys will probably see it like i don't know like here and there so that'll be fun in terms of just like kira um she just recently turned nine months old so she is definitely growing up she's kind of like crawling now starting to talk a lot more she's eating solids and she is just growing up and it's just so crazy how like the thing i love about doing social media and just kind of like having this long form platform is i obviously try my best to create kind of like frequent vlogs and stuff so there's little moments of her like you guys were with me and there's like videos of her when she first came into the world and then now she's like about to be nine months so it's just insane um so she's definitely growing up the pups are doing really well kia is doing well i'm not sure if you guys heard it um or if i even included in that vlog or in that clip in this vlog i'll be sure to ask her before i post it but if you guys did see it when we went to that new restaurant in seattle which was super good by the way you guys have to check it out um kia mentioned that she was kind of like in between jobs right now so she's just been crushing it at being a stay-at-home mom really just like uplifting me and positioning me to be in a place where I can do this full-time as well as be a real estate agent full-time. So I basically have like two full-time jobs. Being a stay-at-home parent is a whole job within itself. It, honestly, it's probably like the hardest job in the world. And that's like no cap. That is like 100% true. Um, so shout out to her. She's doing her thing. She's holding it down here at the house while I am out there just, you know, doing whatever it is that I need to do. But yeah, she made that decision towards like the top of the year after we got the house and we closed on the house. Um, she just... I'm not gonna like dive into it too much, but she just wasn't really enjoying her job and that's like totally fine, things happen. And so she decided to leave and she's just been kind of taking her time to sort of figure out what her next step is in her career. She's just, like I said, just been crushing the stay at home mom game. Um, like I said, positioning me and uplifting me so that I can do whatever it is that I need to do. So she's been great on that front. We've just been kind of spending a lot of time with family, friends and stuff. So everything has been good. Um, what else do I have that like I wanna share? Also, towards the top of the year, I launched my article in Goods XTV Soleil round for collaboration. And I think there's like this misconception because every single other round has sold out. Like, I think everyone just kind of assumed that the bags, like this round would sell out too. And it's definitely on its way there, but it hasn't sold out yet. So if you like want the contrast stitch bag, or if you just want the all black bag, definitely be sure to like go shop it. It's available. It's always linked in the description box of my videos and thank you so much to everyone who has supported me and who has bought a bag to all of my content creator friends that i sent pr to i see your sort of content and i'm forever grateful yeah like it hasn't sold out yet so if you want the bag go ahead and go shop it it's linked down there and then the last sort of thing that i just kind of want to wrap up this vlog with is i touched on it briefly but if you don't follow me over on instagram or on tiktok you wouldn't have seen or you wouldn't know that i just recently became a real estate agent so kind of some context and some backstory i got my real estate license all the way back in 2018. i've always had an affinity for real estate but i just never sort of pursued it heavily so i got my license back in 2018. i didn't really do anything with it and then i renewed it and i kind of went on my first sort of journey of becoming a real estate agent in 2020. and simultaneously that's when my channel and my sort of like social media stuff was really kicking off that's like at the peak of just 
just like the growth of my channel my social media platforms like things are really popping off for me so i had to kind of make a decision of like okay am i going to try to do things like both of them full time or am i just going to try to grow one thing so i paused my real estate thing to focus on my social media stuff and i'm really glad that i did because it kind of got me to where i am currently recently i've just been sort of just like in a different space just I don't know, just in my life, like, you know, social media treats me really well and I get such amazing opportunities from this job 100%. Like you guys see the sort of partnerships that I get anywhere from like the luxury brands all the way to the more sort of affordable, accessible brands. Something about me, like I don't work with just any brand. Like if I am working with them, it is 100%. Like I got to really respect them. I have to feel as though it is authentic to my audience and it's authentic to me. And so I've been really blessed on the, you know, like seven-ish years that I've been doing this. And I feel like I'm just in a little bit of a different place. I love social media, but I think it's time to sort of leverage that position and get me into something that I feel like is going to have even more staying power than social media. And I feel like, like if you kind of just want more context as to like what this is in terms of like why I'm personally sort of just like I don't want to get it twisted like I'm not going anywhere I'm still going to produce content I still love authentically sharing and stuff I just don't think I'm pursuing social media in the way that I necessarily was for the past years I think respectfully and humbly speaking my sort of channel my platforms and all that stuff it kind of does its own thing like I you know put out really great high quality work at a frequency and at a sort of cadence in which it's comfortable for me and I still get really amazing opportunities but I would be lying if I said that like that consumes my whole entire time it doesn't like i i love to work i feel as though if you want a specific life you have to work to get it and that's sort of like where this real estate kind of just thing came into my mind i was like i worked really hard to get my real estate license i've always had an affinity for it and you guys just know like on a smaller scale like i love like interior design and that kind of stuff and i just bought my first home so it all just kind of clicked like, okay, I was thinking already of doing something in addition to social media. I love being an entrepreneur. I personally don't think that I'm built for a nine to five. Um, if you are, that's great. Like I respect it and I love that for you. I just don't think that for me, like that's necessarily what I'm good at. And so I was like, I have my real estate license. I just have to renew it. And so that's kind of how we got here. So I just joined a sort of luxury real estate team that specializes in luxury listings, new development, but we also do like a little bit of everything. Like that's just not all that we do. And so like literally this weekend, I'm prepping to host my very first open house for my team leaders listing, which is like a big sort of deal within itself. Currently I'm working with a buyer that is working with a, with a really nice budget to buy a home kind of north of Seattle. And I just have just a lot going on sort of within that real estate sort of realm. And it's only been like, I've been onboarding secretly, like I haven't said anything for almost a month, but I've been officially a part of the team. Like my first day was a little over a week ago. I joined the team and then things just sort of like the ball just kind of kept rolling and it kind of kept getting bigger. Um, but I love it. And I think uh, I really see a future in this. And so it feels great. Like I'm not, like, not going to lie, like it feels I feel just like I'm in a different space in my life. And I said that in my last vlog, but I just didn't formally announce the real estate thing yet. So I that's kind of what I was alluding to if you watch that vlog. Um, but yeah, man, I don't know. Everything just feels really great. I feel like, oh shit. You know, the one thing about long hair is like, you gotta always, you gotta always like fix it. Um, but that's kind of what I was saying in the last vlog. Like, I feel like I really started off this year super strong and I just kind of want to keep that momentum going. I personally don't ever want to stay stagnant. I don't ever want my life to be the same. I think for me, it's just, that's just not a fulfilling life. I want everything to sort of be elevating. I want to always be going up. And so I hope that this real estate thing sort of does just that for me. So with that being said, if any of you guys are looking to buy a home, sell a home, just do any sort of thing real estate related within the greater Seattle area, or if you know someone that is looking to move to Seattle and is looking for any sort of real estate help, please, 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 I would really hope and I really appreciate it if you consider me. I have all of my information in terms of like real estate in the description box down below and there you can see like i created whole separate channels and whole separate sort of social media platforms um for my real estate stuff so like i have a real estate instagram profile a real estate tiktok even a youtube channel there's going to be a lot of sort of additional content that you're going to see from me kind of going more into that real estate stuff so i'm really excited and i think that's sort of that for all of these sort of life updates that i had again i i love these sort of like longer chats towards the end and it, 
kind of the feedback from my last vlog was like you guys really do too i think it's one thing to sort of like share you know like mundane things or like little moments or exciting moments here and there but there's nothing just like a good sort of chatty catch up and i don't necessarily like chatty vlogs throughout the whole vlog i think it's a little overwhelming so having like segmented longer bits just like this at the very end just so you guys get all the vibes in the beginning and then you stay for the chat at the very end um is kind of what I personally like so hopefully you enjoyed this vlog. I'm currently in the primary bedroom right now and I love how it turned out. All of the sort of information and all that stuff will be linked in the description box down below and yeah I just I can't thank you guys enough and I feel like for the real ones who like watch this channel like fully fully watch it I've been having this like crazy idea and I just I don't know let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below but I really feel like you know I give so much sort of fashion content over on Instagram and on like TikTok and on YouTube shorts and all that and I just feel like for me I'm really growing and I'm really evolving and my life just isn't fashion only things anymore I think something that I really resonate with is like these vlogs that have a little bit of everything and so I have this like crazy idea to just like sort of decrease the amount of videos that I'm producing a month so I've been like producing like four ish like four to five videos per month I was actually thinking of like scaling it back and just doing like two per month and just having those to be vlogs that have a little bit of everything so like each vlog you're gonna get like life updates fashion bits outfits unboxings pickup sort of vibes but then you're also gonna get real life sort of behind the scenes of like me doing real estate me with my family my dogs my friends family all that stuff so let me know if you guys would rather just have longer less vlog videos that have a little bit of everything and then you're still gonna get the sort of short form content all over the other platforms like tiktok youtube shorts uh instagram and all that stuff because i don't know i just think it's a lot to like it's a lot to not from a production standpoint or from a work standpoint like i don't mind to work like i'm down for it it's more of like a consumption standpoint like so you're gonna see me drop an outfit photo monday tuesday thursday and then you're also gonna see me talk about fashion every monday here on youtube and then you're getting like tiktok stuff youtube shorts and it's just like all fashion 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 when like in real life i have so much more going on that i would rather share and i think would just be so much more interesting so just let me know in the comments down below if you guys would be down for just less videos here on the channel but longer videos that consist of a little bit of everything because i personally would love that but if you're like no cb i really like the chatty fashion videos because i really learn a lot from that stuff i respect that too so i would love you guys' feedback so let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and yeah thank you guys for being here and hopefully you enjoyed the vlog and i will catch you guys in the next one peace